What is happening guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. So I am off on another adventure. I was talking to BF Goodrich Tyres and one of the things that I really wanted to do this year is really explore motorsport. Now I went to the Dakar Rally at the start of the year and I was thinking about it, I was like there is so much more to these events, whether it's across the desert, across the sand dunes, and I just basically said to him, I was like, I wanna see how far these motorsport events go. So fast forward, I am about to go off on a journey to Las Vegas because we are heading to the Mint 400, which is an off-road race out in the desert. Uh, lots of trophy trucks. These are vehicles that I'm not actually that familiar with, but they look mental. Million dollar builds, V8s, like huge suspension. I'm really excited to see like what this event holds because it's a completely new landscape for me. So the next time you see me, as I'm just getting ready to leave now, is I will see you in Vegas. Okay, so we are just heading to all of the cars because there's a big parade oh, go, going go. on, which is going let's through go, let's the middle. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, I'm in a rush, I'm in a rush. Okay, we're gonna go get into one of the cars to be in the middle of the parade. Okay, so that was all a bit of a rush, but we had to get in quickly because everyone's starting to lead out on the parade now. I jumped in the car with Lucas Barnett, who is in a, a trophy light truck. Do you know what I like about this guy? He just said to me, he was like, all right, we're doing the mid 400. I've never done an off-road race in my life. I'm ready. I mean, what's, what's better than that? Somebody's going straight in head first. We'll see what happens. So we're gonna head out to the parade now, and then we're gonna go down the strip. They're pretty much closing the strip off for us. It's a bit of a privilege. So yeah, I will uh, just let you see what I can see around me. Okay, we are in all the way down. of the BF Goodrich trip and we have head out into the desert because we're gonna be taking these Polaris razors which are kind of like the badass UTVs like I've driven one before but I don't think it was as big as this I don't know but me and Patrick just setting up all the cameras we're gonna go on a long old hike through the desert we're gonna check out a bit of the scenery like there's I think there's probably like 10 vehicles with us I'm actually really excited about this because they're kind of like they're letting us loose we were on the new KM3 all-terrain tires and they're kind of like these can take anything so we're taking it across a few different sort of like surfaces, that sort of thing, to really check out what the tyre can do. But more than that, we're basically just taking these vehicles out for a bit of fun. Safety first, kids. Don't ever forget to put on your head sock. <laughs> okay, so, all right, putting my, uh, putting my gloves on. Do you know what? Right, let's oh, just, oh, okay. That's it, Rebecca, yeah, yeah. On the road, Rebecca. <laughs> So we are in the Las Vegas desert. In a? Polaris Razor. And when was the last time you were in one of these? I... In, a, in a car park in London. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know, but to be fair, I rented one of these in uh, on holiday in Greece. As you do. And just completely, you know, normally you get like a, you get like a rental car. Yeah. We just got one of these. I was turning up to dinner. Oh, that's my alarm. Starting to get some dust trails now. Yeah, it's getting fairly dusty. I'm really doing about 45, it feels like you're doing about a million. It feels like you're doing about a million. <laughs> yeah. a stop point here in the desert and we've kind of got everyone sort of lined up to get some shots so far it's been amazing just to actually get out and drive like with the fresh air going past us whenever you come to something like this like 
you can look at attire and you can be told all about attire but I think the only way that you can get to know it is by actually putting it into practice the KM3 is pretty mad like you constantly like when you're going off-road I'm not a big off-roader um, you feel like you might lose grip or something like that but I've felt very planted like and we're going over lots of different dips undulations different surfaces that sort of thing and the razor just feels like it's just loads of fun you and once you take away that sort of fear element you're just like yeah just getting right into it so i think we're gonna head on a little bit further into the desert now and then yeah i'm gonna carry on enjoying myself really okay so we are putting the tire through its paces in a different way we're sort of like rock crawling now it's kind of it's a lot slower pace higher revs and you really have to sort of let the tire work its way forward for you and let it grip and do its thing. It just felt like it had loads of grit. Like you don't feel like you're ever slipping, you're just sort of crawling and grabbing and... It's just fine. every time it turns the wheel, it's finding grit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got some money off on there. We were on two wheels, baby! That was fucking sick. That was mad. It's so nice to win, like, you know what I'm doing? I'm just literally, as soon as I'm about to turn in, I'm just dipping. Dipping the brake a tiny bit. Yeah, just tuck it in. But it's just tuck, as you say, it's yeah. just like nicely pitching it in. We have just got back after that whole trip in the razors across the desert. Now, much like the Dakar, like I'm covered in dust, like my hair is full of, I don't even know what, and my makeup's absolutely wrecked, but you can't beat being out there in the wild just absolutely ripping these things it's been mega i tell you what the the tire is like so confidence inspiring because it doesn't matter where you go whether you're over like shale dust like anything like that rocks we went did a little bit of like uh rock crawling as well it's sick it's got loads of grip as you can see here the km3s are well used uh these are on brand new vision wheels as well like i'm not the biggest like off-road vehicle connoisseur but i know that these are the thousand cc razors and they are great the suspension on them is mental you've got so much like travel in them that it can just take anything but yeah it's a real nice combination with the suspension with the tires because basically you can do whatever you want and you don't feel like you're gonna fall over ideal the thing about having an event here in las vegas is there is so much to do so we went out on the parade i was out in the trophy truck light and then we went out to the desert and tested out the km3s in the utv so this is Fremont Street and they're having like a parade. So all the people that are coming to the MIM 400 can get involved, see the vehicles, meet some drivers. Also PFG have got a lot of stuff going on here to show people what they're all about. realize with the mint 400 is that it's actually four laps over 428 miles this year so this here as you can see on the map was the purple line here is for the car course they start down here and this goes all the way up and over here and they do this four times so it's about 107 miles per lap the motorcycles have a different course as well so like the Dakar it's like that's different stages that rally but this is actually just four laps covering 107 miles each and they do that four times and that's what makes up the Mint 400. Well BF2 have got a demo course down here on the parade and they've kindly said to me that I can jump in and have a go in one of their jeeps. As you can see in front of me there's like dirt, rocks, some ramps over there as well and they're just like go on get in and have a go so why not? We're gonna play two foot driving right? Yeah. So you actually use a high RPM and keep your high RPM and then you feather your brake. Okay. So feather your brake and you use high RPM. So you're kind of dragging your brake, you know, oh, yeah, like no, you yeah, went yeah. around the corner. And now look at how much smoother we are because we're staying right on top of the on top of the rocks. So oh, high yeah, RPMs yeah, and you see. feather, feather, feather. I see. And so you. now you're walking your way across instead of on, off, on, off. 
But did you feel the tires and how yeah, they completely yeah. gripped? And there was absolutely no no slipping. We didn't slip off of any rock. No. We might have bounced off a couple. But... <laughs> I am no off-roader. <laughs> I don't know. I think we can say otherwise. That's one of the good things about the KM3 is as you're sort of putting it through its paces, like on these angles, on those rocks, you can see that actually the tire wall is not even rolling. It's stiff enough that it can pretty much take any terrain. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, as, as I can so demonstrate now. So I've just caught up with Marty, who's actually a friend of BF Goodrich. These are all your cars around here, these race cars here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I've been a BFG driver since 1990. I know I don't look that old, but I am. That's older than me. <laughs> Thank you very much, see? <laughs> I feel great now. So these, these two race cars we race in a race called the Nora Mexican 1000 next month. Okay. It's a vintage race. Okay. So, so these cars were actually, this, is, this car was built by my race team in 1990. We sold it, found it again on Craigslist, Love and that. restored it. But it was a BFG factory paint scheme just like this. So there's only three teams that had this, and this is the single seater we run. It's a basically a, a, what they call a dune buggy, but it's really a race car. Mm -hmm. um, Volkswagen powered, old air cooled stuff, just like they used to run. Right. And we'll car you know, does 105 miles an hour, and a bunch of us go down there. It's a five day race from Ensenada to Cabo San Lucas. But I've raced 15 Baja Thousands, I've raced four mid 400s, I've done a lot of that too. So, but now this is what the, the, the more gray haired guys go do now. They have to go just got here today and I'm kind of a bit like what's going on what's going on it's like there's all the trophy trucks everywhere all the UTVs are all starting to line up now for the start of the race I'm just getting my bearings because remember there is 107 miles of the track and this is just the starting point but yeah so far like it's kind of mental One of the great things about this race is that before it all kicks off, you can actually get out on track to meet some of the drivers and sort of see the trucks. Everyone's lining up here and like all of the crowd is coming out to wish the drivers good luck. I'm gonna try and find Sarah Price, she's one of the BFG drivers. She's just got a new livery on her trophy truck so she should be around here somewhere. I definitely saw her earlier, she was getting something to eat before embarking on the race. So just managed to catch up with Sarah for a couple of seconds before she's about to head out onto the course. Like Sarah, from everyone that I've spoken to, this is a fairly mental race. Like, how are you feeling right now? Uh, man, I'm so excited. I've uh, been in the trucks now for a few years, and this is my first actual trophy truck race. So I've been in a limited engine truck the last few years, and now I'm actually stepping up to a lot of horsepower. Uh, this is the best of the best of drivers in the world and the most legendary race in America. So, it, you know, I have a lot on my plate. It's a very tough course. There's a, it's a very, uh, I would say, harsh rough yep. compared to a usual rolling rough where we can get on top and kind of, you know, bang it out in the way. Um, and then it's going to be, you know, protecting your vehicle. That's the number one thing and making it to the last lap. It's a big moment for you. It's going yeah. to be a good race. Good luck out there. And uh, yeah, hope all goes well. Thank you so much. I just love the trophy trucks, man. Like, they're literally just so sick. Like, even just silly things like, oh, we're being kicked off the track now, but I think everything's just starting to go. But yeah, the trucks to me are like the pinnacle of the sport. Like, everything is just over the top. Like, they've got so much power, they've got the biggest wheels, the biggest suspension travel. Like, they are insane. And I can understand why the Americans get so behind them. Like, I'd love to drive one. Ooh. Let's think about off-road vehicles, you're normally about three foot in the air. So VFG have actually sorted us out to get into a helicopter to see the start of the race. I mean, I'm terrified of helicopters, but to get an opportunity to see the race starting from up there is something that I can't not do, even if I am scared.
places and I've seen a lot of different motorsports but I've never seen something like that like chasing the cars down was absolutely unreal like I was starting to feel a bit sick because he was like chasing them so hard he was like banking like going left and right like that was the most I I don't I don't really like helicopters they scare me but that was unreal it has to be done oh I'm gonna go sit down and just uh, get rid of this nauseous feeling there the great thing about the Mint 400 is there is 107 miles worth of track to go and have a look and see the race from a different perspective. Right here, there is actually a chopper tracing. Sorry, I just felt like I was in a, in a film for a second then. I was like, I just, uh, oh. It was mental. I've acclimatised the American way, like I'm sat in the back of an American pickup truck watching off-road racing. Like at a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> and she's get myself a barbecue, exactly. Oh, we've got another one coming here now. Well, that is it for a whirlwind trip to Vegas. Thank you to BF Goodrich Tires for having me at the Mint 400. The Mint 400 is one of those events that you'll go to and remember for the rest of your days. Like, next year, I 100% want to come back because I've just been thinking, I was like, it's easy to enter. All you have to do is get yourself a razor. I've already had plenty of experience out in the desert. I'm basically ready to enter the Mint 400 next year. I'm just gonna put it out there. Probably not really gonna work, is it? But still, I can go home and think about it whilst I'm on the plane. Right, guys, I will catch you again next time, and yeah. I'll see you again soon. Bye.